civilization of Arizona and doing the Lord's work. Mm. Of course, I probably don't have mm. to tell you all that I love Arizona. It's my home. It's our home. It's an extraordinary place. Yeah. And that's why I intend to sell it to the highest bidder. No corporation is too greedy or too evil to do business in Are Arizona. Are you serious? And as you might have heard, I take a back seat to no one when it came, comes to taking on Washington, D.C. At least when it comes to attracting labor laws, health care, immigration, and the environmental protections. We all know that big government is terrible. Yeah. Hey, unless, rich cake. unless, unless of course, it's doing something oh, I want, then big government is a valuable partner for Arizona. Oh, oh, I mean, um, wait a, wait a minute. Hey, the rich cake. Hey. <laughs> anyway, I'm excited to talk to you about our plans for this state. And I'd like to do, introduce my friend, a great American, a fierce patriot, Senator, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> unjustly recalled Senator Russell Pierce. Hey. <laughs> Don't let Jan lie to you, she always takes it in the back seat. Um, hello ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I'm proud to stand here today, the author of everybody's favorite immigration law, SB 1070, funded Whoa. in Missouri or Georgia also these days. Uh, because as we all know, we can make more money off an illegal Mexican in jail than we can if he's working and paying taxes like the rest of us. Mm. My friends, my fellow Americans, we have to recognize that the government does not create lasting jobs. You know, like mine and all the other jobs that people have had their whole lives. <laughs> Only the private sector can do that. And that's why I've been working my tail off to privatize Arizona's prisons, schools, hospitals, just about anything else I can get my privates into. Uh, thank you, thank you, Russell. So, uh, we'll be taking some questions from the press right now. Oh, it's governor. Senator, governor, Senator, governor, 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 governor. Uh, over here. Yeah, Governor, I understand you both have deep ties to an organization called the American Legislative Exchange Council, or ALEC. Can you tell us what that is? Why, yes! ALEC! ALEC is simply a wonderful organization made up of all-American, multinational corporations who really know how to turn a profit. They make our jobs simply a breeze. We don't even have to write bills no, anymore. You, they do it for us. Governor, governor, so governor, 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 governor. Uh, over here. But isn't it awfully undemocratic to have a bunch of corporations writing laws and then handing them over to state legislators across the country? The same politicians who camp, uh, who finance their campaigns? Isn't that a huge conflict of interest? <laughs> Listen here, young lady. My top priority is to make Arizona the most job-friendly state in this American nation for the employers. So we need some laws to get rid of things that make corporations grumpy. Like, you know, labor unions and environmental protections. It's just simple business sense. But Senator, what about the working people? What about the public workers and their collective bargaining rights? The ALEC bills your friends have just introduced are an attempt to destroy the public's public mm. workers' ability to organize, aren't they? Oh, now, now, we love and appreciate <coughs> our public servants. We love them so much, we want to make their jobs easier. If they don't have to worry about all that messy organizing and collective bargaining, Russell Pierce, won't 2012, that be so much more relaxing for them? Like teachers, right. for instance. Right. They work so hard. Why, why would we want them to have Council. to worry their little heads off about fighting for decent salaries? Now, would we? Governor. Senator. Governor. 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 Senator. And here in the middle. Speaking of education, what are you doing to improve public education in Arizona? We recently heard that a group called the Arizona Business and Education Coalition is holding meetings with state legislators. Can you explain what they're discussing? Well, we all know the best public education is private education. So it makes perfect sense that we're working to make Arizona school as business friendly as possible. As our good friend, Representative Debbie Lesko says, the Business and Education Coalition is a good thing. 
Ooh. It's just a few legislators Ooh. getting together for some little chats and a few drinks with the corporations to find out what kind of workers the businesses need so we can manufacture them and on the taxpayer's dime. That's my commitment to the children for the next century. But governor, 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 that doesn't make any sense. Turning over public education. Jobs, 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 borders, borders, illegals, illegals. <laughs> so wait, have any of you guys heard of my new book, How to Eat Scorpions? OK, thanks, governor. Those are some great points. Are, uh, are there any other questions from you pests? I mean, from uh, from you members of the press? Senator. Yes, yes, Senator. 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 Yes, you. Yes, Senator. We understand you called this press conference to make a major announcement. And while we've heard a lot about your creeping attacks on everything that is good in the state, you haven't really mentioned. Oh, of course. How could I forget? We do have a very important announcement tonight. As you know, our good friends at the Corrections Corporations of America, a proud member of the American Legislative Council, just like more than half of your elected legislators, run private prisons for profit, an absolutely ingenious way to make money off of human misery, I might add. And tonight we are proud to announce a very exciting strategic partnership. We are pleased to reveal that Governor Brewer here along with the GOP members of your Arizona State Legislature, like Ron Gould, like Maxwell Wilson, and all our other good friends there, have decided to lease the entire state of Arizona to CCA. We'll expand Joe's current tent city to encompass the entire state. Yeah. Oh, we look forward to working with the citizens of Arizona to incarcerate as many of you as possible and have free labor to fill the pockets of CCA and the rest of our ALEC member buddies. But, what the hell? Are you okay? Oh, that. That's not constitutional. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you. And God, God bless, bless the United, United Corporations, Corporations of America. Jobs, jobs, 9-11 immigration.